Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. Now that we've done everything in this uh, ancient forgotten temple with the guardians in it, let's go back on to getting these other shrines that I've actually marked down, instead of ones that I know exist but haven't marked down. Okay, let's change into the flame breaker armor and let's head down oh there's a shrine nearby I wonder where that could be but yeah this is back on the path to the Goron city so if we go right down here where the shrine is I believe there are yeah, there are some metal boxes that we can use to hopefully get across. I'm pretty sure I've taken a picture of you, but I'm going to double check. Yeah, I have. Now, do I have anything ice? I do. Good, because that makes everything easier. Okay. Oh dear, here we go. Building a bridge using metal boxes. This is kind of like the, uh, the Gerudo tower, or w wasteland tower, if we actually did that correctly. How are you supposed to actually do that? Oh, 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 you can also, oh, I can't reach that? Oh, I guess I'm going to have to do what I was about to say. You can also grab the previous box and move it around so you build a bridge slowly. Still can't reach that one, but I can reach this one. I guess the boxes just kind of float in the lava. I'm surprised they're not just melting. I guess these are special blocks that we don't actually know what they're made of. And maybe they can only be... I guess they're a particular type of metal that can only be forged in like the very... Like the actual crater of Death Mountain. That would be interesting. But I don't know for sure. That's okay, because I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. There we go. Okay, what do we have here? A balanced approach. Well... This does look interesting. I guess I can start off by getting rid of that box. I don't know if I want to break the box, though. Do I want to break the box? I guess I don't have much choice. Let me just do that. Oh, actually, that's going to help out, help, help, help out quite nice, actually. Because that's going to weigh this down, since there's stuff on this and not on that anymore. Got a small key, and that's going to make getting the rest of the shrine a lot easier. And I need to also blow that up if I can from here. Nice. Ow. Also need to make sure I get the rest of the treasure chest in the shrine since we can basically get to the end now, which is up there. But we need to go up the other way. So, let's just weigh this down. Just like that, apparently. Then let's just grab this. I think try to weigh that down. I mean, that will work, so. Then we can get onto here. This is a weird upside down scales thing, but that's okay. It's actually interesting the way that they've made this from a programmer standpoint. Because it looks like the same object, but it's it works upside down. I guess it would because of gravity and and the way that it pushes. Yeah. Anyway, Royal Claymore with the durability up. Now I need to get rid of something. My favorite pastime. I'm tempted to throw away my Zora Sword. It does have increased durability, but it's not a great amount of attack damage. Let's just get rid of that. And I think that's all the treasure chests in the shrine. Probably. Yep. 
Now all that's left is to get to the end, which we're probably going to need a second block for. So let's, oh, throw away a block apparently. Let's bring this over here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that yet. I think what I really want to do is put this block here. And I, can, I don't even need these weights here. I don't know why they are there in the first place. Well, I guess so I can use them on the other thing. And I'm actually probably going to need these both of these other blocks to actually weigh it down properly. Since at the moment it's b perfectly balanced. One on each side. Sorry, let's bring out the other one. I could otherwise just use the barrels, I think. But using this block is probably easier. Sorry. I can get up onto this and then put that onto there. Oh, don't don't do that. Block, why did you fall off? Oh well. So let me let me try to fix this quickly. No, don't knock off the other block. Oh my goodness. Calm down. Just just slow down, take my time. Okay, bring it closer so I can move it. I want to explain this. I want to explain this. I also have to make sure I got all the chests. Yes, I did. Okay. Stay there. Don't fall off. Thank you. So the theory is that this block here on this platform stops us from going straight into the spikes. Because of it being too tall. And it's taller than us, so we can stand in between the spikes and the roof and on the, the floor. And then we can just jump into the spikes anyway and walk off well that's that one done let's go have a look at one of the other two over in this direction since it means we're going to clear out all the shrines in another part of the map. I think I can jump from here. Probably. If I can see where it is. Yeah, I can definitely jump from here. I'm a lot higher up than the maze down there. Well, so this is a fun maze because it's got things around it. I'm going to put on some good armor. So yeah, it's got some flying guardians, whatever they're called, around it. So we need to be careful as we go through. How far away is this thing? A fair way away, apparently. Oh look, there's a shrine nearby. This is why I turned that off ages ago. Let me turn that off again. Because it's a bit obvious sometimes when there's a shrine and the game doesn't need to tell you that there's a shrine. Anyway, Lamey Labyrinth Island. The shrine is behind some bars, so we can't go straight to it. So... You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze, and you will receive a reward. Trial of the Labyrinth. Oh, that's a Guardian Stalker. Oh my goodness. So we need to go through this maze. And it's probably going to take a little bit of time. Oh, I think it saw me. It's on the map. I can see it on the map. But we probably just want to hug the left wall until we arrive at our destination. Because that's just how you get through a maze, is you hug one of the walls. Looks like that's a dead end. And the thing about the map, is that sometimes you pass through parts of the wall. So... Yeah, it's not just follow the map. You actually have to go through tunnels that you can't see on the map. But anyway. This is going to take a little bit of time. To go through. I'm just going to skip that part there and go this way. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. 
because I know where I need to go. So I should be all right for getting there, mostly. Oh no. Hang on, there's still, there's still path. There's still hope. If I took the most direct route, that'd be great. But I'm not sure. Okay, not that way. Not counting, um, oh, is this alive? Oh, it is. Uh, I guess I could take it out for parts. Since it's not exactly the strongest guardian out there. And I've got the Rook's protection once, but I didn't need it, so. Okay. Thank you for the ancient gears. Oh, is this a treasure chest over here? I'm gonna guess this is a treasure chest over here if I move that block out of the way. Or just another path. No, it is a treasure chest. Oh, and there's another treasure chest there. Ah, oh, there are gonna be treasure chests in here, but I'm not gonna get them all because I just wanna get through. Oh, and that's the wrong way as well. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's just a thunderstorm rod. Just randomly. Not that way. I think I'm going the wrong way now. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I could go that way for the treasure chest, I'm pretty sure. But I don't want the treasure chest. I want to get to the shrine. Okay. I think this is good. I think this is good. I think this is great, actually. Although I might have actually circled back. Oh no. This is not good. Oh no. I did circle all the way back, didn't I? But that's okay. This is fine. I'll figure it out. I'm lost. Help. Send help. No, I think I'm progressing a little bit. Although I could have taken this path way earlier, I think. Okay. Is this a dead end? It is a dead end. Also, the concern of there being just shortcuts up higher on the wall that you could climb to is... I don't think there are any, but that would be a concerning thing to happen if there was. I really should have just stuck with my original plan of following a wall instead of just taking directions. Please. Please. Oh, I'm so close. I must have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not? Oh! There's a ladder. Okay, so I must have gone the right way at some point, because I'm at the end. There might be multiple ways of getting here, I just don't know. It's also this here. Let me see what's up here. If anything. Oh, lovely burning. Lovely burning. Oh yes, love it keep burning. Okay, up here is... Oh, please. Oh, please. A great flame blade, just in the ground there. That's pretty cool, but I don't think I need it. It looks very cool in the ground, though. I'm going to take a picture of that. Yeah, that looks cooler. I know it's not flashing like the other one, but it's still cool when it's in the ground. <laughs> when it's in the ground, it's cool, like the Master Sword. It's basically the Master Sword now. It's better than the Master Sword because it it, it, it has fire. Just gonna get rid of those. Oh, I switched to the Master Sword. I should remember which weapons I've got equipped. So I'm not just wasting energy. Although the Muscle Sword hasn't broken yet, so that's good. But anyway, we've made it to the Shrine now. 
And it's probably just going to be a blessing, which means I'm going to have to throw out another weapon. Yep. Um, just to make sure, how many weapons do I have? And there aren't any extra slots, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of the Guardian Sword with Long Throw on it. It's useful to have Guardian weapons because they don't get struck by lightning, but still. Unless this isn't... Okay. It's the Barabian... Barabian Helm. Barbarian Helm. A helmet once worn by the warriors of an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. Wearing it draws out your inner animal, increasing your strength and battle prowess. Attack up. Nice. Yeah, that was the other thing. If it's not a weapon, then I can just keep my sword. Anyway. Nice to have more armor stuff. Do I have any other? No, I don't. That's surprising. There's more to that set, but I don't have any of it. Now that door is open and we can see the guardians out through there. But there's also this thing that opened up here. There's also a torch. I don't know if I need the torch or not. I'm going to leave it for now and just go down here. Ow. But once we get down here, oh, and not get struck by lightning because that's also a thing that I need to worry about. We can see this chamber here with all these guardians in it. There's a torch there, I guess. Makes sense, but it looks really cool under here. All these ruined guardians and everything. But there's also a treasure chest here that we can grab. So let's grab that. A diamond circlet. A luxurious headpiece sold at Gerudo jewelry shops. It's decorated with a diamond which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies. And now let's run because all these guardians are gonna light me up. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, that's a lot of beams. That's a lot of beams. That's a lot of beams. Okay, we're good. Oh, mostly good. Mostly good. Mostly good. I'm fine. So fine. Anyway, let's um, let's get rid of this pin and go to somewhere else. Oh, I should probably change out my weapons now. It's probably a good plan. Shield's fine. Bow is not fine. Sword is definitely not fine. Okay, there we go. And if the armor wasn't fine, that'd be bad. But it can't be armor for some reason. I'm just gonna just try and get some more ancient parts from this pile if I can. I'm pretty sure it should respawn these things at some point. Although I might have got it too recently, I guess, and it hasn't been a proper blood moon recently. So I guess I have to just ignore that for now. And there's our destination right in front of us. Oh, please. Oh, wow. Lightning. Lightning is pretty cool. Oh. Two strikes very close together. Wow. Oh, and this is a thing here. I'm going to be careful going past it. Although it does have monsters spawning. Let's have a go at taking all this out then. Somehow I didn't wake up. <sighs> Never mind. There are more enemies spawning. Why is it always like this? That one hasn't woken up, and that's the one I want to get. Yeah, let me just... Let me just do that to make it a little bit easier. It stuns everything. Now to get rid of this thing. I was hoping to sneak strike it, but nope. Not going to be able to do that, apparently. But for killing a silver goblin it should give me a gem of some kind as well and possibly just rupees 
Oh, this is unfortunate to be this Bokoblin right now because I keep recharging this fire every time he's stunned, and every time he's stunned is when I, after I hit him. This is pretty good. It's a bit one-sided though. Come on. So close now. There we go. Okay, give me a ruby, thank you. Also a treasure chest here, which has a royal bow in it. With durability up, but I don't need it because I'm full on everything. Except for shields, I think, so let me take that shield. Those parts. Oh, and an arrow. Multiple arrows. Oh, I need to change my weapon. I need to change my weapon quick. Ah, uh, I don't have the guardian sword anymore, so it's just these ancient battle axes, I guess. Anyway. Oh, more enemy. I'm just gonna... Do I need more? How many cobbling... Mo uh, moblin guts do I have? Two. I should probably get more. Hello. I need your guts. Here we go. Thank you. Now we can keep going. Okay. We're very close now. Very, very close. Don't get distracted by things. I feel like there's a croc here though. Don't get distracted by things. Oh look, a Korok. Basically. Instantly gets distracted by something. There is nothing up this tree. There is nothing up this tree. That's strange because it's it's a tree in the middle of the thing. There's a rock underneath it that it's on and it's nothing. Cool. Anyway. Oh, there's stuff over there as well. That's a Korok. Okay. This is a... A similar type of croc that we've seen before, but it's also slightly different because we've got flowers, multiple flowers. So the way that works is we get a razor shroom. I'm pretty sure I've read that before. But you need to get the flowers in order of how many there are. So there was one, two, and this is three. And then four and five. Just like that. Thank you. And now back onto track. I will get there eventually. Hopefully. Okay. That guardian, one of those guardians is probably gonna be alive, I'm gonna guess. Otherwise there's probably a Korok here as well. And if there is, I'd like to grab it straight away. Maybe they're not alive. Ancient gear, that's nice. Surprisingly good. Energized rhino beetle. Energetic. Close enough. Apparently I've grabbed one of those before, but didn't take a picture of it. Also zap shroom, I've got a picture of that apparently. Ancient screw. Okay, there must be something over here. The items are just leading me over here. Is there something? Is there not something? Okay, I'm gonna fo focus. I'm gonna focus. Look, we're so close now. It's right there. Ah, oh, there's a guardian. I might want to check that. Uh, not. There's actually quite a few guardians. Like, ruined guardians around here, which is surprising. I might want to get a bit higher up though, so I can glide to the, what's it called, the shrine. It's actually an interesting spot. I don't think I've explored much of, over here before. What's down there? I can't see. That's what's over there. Anyway. Should be able to climb up from over here. 
very interesting structure. Very interesting. Anyway, I might also equip my climbing gear so I can climb faster and use less stamina somewhat. Oh wow, there's a little ledge there. Also, this is the skull's left eye. Oh, is this just a blessing? Wow. I was not expecting it to just be a blessing. Flame blade. And let's keep going. Now, let me quickly look at my side quests. Cineblade Chronicles 2. The eastern sky from the skull's left to eye. So it's like that way. But it needs to be nighttime, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let's uh, make a campfire because it's still morning. Um, What do I want to use? I do have a fair bit of red choo-choo jelly, so I should probably use a bit of that. And let's sort my inventory because I can't find anything right now. Okay, and... What? Why do I just do that? Ow! Okay. Sleep until night. Okay. Will it work? Yes. I heard it. I... Oh, there it is. Let's go get our reward. Another reward from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The side quest. Go. Actually, a fair way away. Oh, did it land in the house or next to the house? Because that would make more sense as to why it's there then. Unless it's just random coincidence that it lands there. No, it's not. Okay. Probably just down the cliff face a little bit. Got a red chest. Extra rare. And we get the Salvager's Vest. Collaboration in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. It's a rather rare find. So now, we have two of those. Which is pretty cool. Just, just look at Link now. Very cool. Still missing one piece though. So we'll have to go get that at some point. Oh, and enemies, of course. Why? Ow. You took away my last... You took away my last... Ah, uh, Daruk's protection. Really? So rude. There we go. Don't even give me moblin guts. Oh, here comes another one. Or not. Can't even see me. Oh, he's actually can't see me, so he just dug into the ground. Very interesting. Anyway. Oh, setting fire to the grass. But anyway, that's all of the marked shrines on my map right now. So I guess we're going to have to keep exploring for more regular shrines that we haven't found yet. But that is also it for this episode, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.